that tuba is going through my mind. Great. Uh, <laughs> oh, the tuba. Oh, the, the tuba. tuba. Well, and, and it's interesting. And I just love the story that you started out in animation. And, I mean, you had to do vegetables because the, the tools weren't there yeah. to do arms and I, legs. I couldn't do arms or legs or hair or clothes. <laughs> so, but, but now... Now, uh, I mean, it's just amazing what people can do with animation. I know, I know. And I actually haven't been producing animation. I'm just little bits, you know, for the last five or six years uh, because kids got so used to super expensive animation. You know, the Pixar movies and the DreamWorks movies and the Disney movies are so high budget that it was just hard to impress kids <laughs> with, yeah. with stuff that we could do, you know, in, in, our, in our little company. Um, so I've been doing puppets, I've been doing other stuff, engaging kids in other ways, but also looking at, all right, is there a point where I can get back into animation, which is just, it's just a whole lot of fun to make animated films. Yeah, would the most recent animated project, would that, would that be at, the well, Buck Denver stuff? Or Buck Denver it? stuff has el animation in it. Yeah. Yeah, what's in the Bible with Buck Denver is a mix of puppetry um, and yeah. then little animated segments. Uh, but And that was just working with individual animators, you know, Christian friends who are animators, and I could farm out little bits and pieces to them because it's very hard to, to have your own animation studio and, you know, and carry it. At one point, a big idea, we had 200 people, you know, on staff, on payroll, trying to keep them fed, trying to keep them happy. Yeah, and that's just Especially hard. Among, uh, among feature link films yes, and doing that. That's but that's, in a, that's in another book. That's another book. Yeah. So, so what are the challenges with respect to communicating through entertainment media, especially with what you do, and yeah. uh, you know, and really attempting to communicate truth? Well, yeah, well, it's you have is trying to keep it light and keep it heavy at the same time. <laughs> okay, wow, that's that's a profound thought. I know. What does that mean? It, it is. It is. <laughs> well, because kids are just used to things that are very light. It's everything they watch on TV. You know, it's just funny little nothings. Uh, and so much of what we feed our kids, even even with food, is just little nothings, you know, tasty little nothings. And so much of kids' media just has no real meat to it. But if you if you go all the other way and just give them just meat, you know, they they, they can't handle it. It's they'll just get up and walk away. It's too too dull. So and it, yeah, they have the same problem with children's ministry and churches. It's it's you know, these kids are so used to being entertained in so many different forms and on their iPads and on their phones. How, what do we do? Do we have to be as entertaining as, you know, Hollywood? Or can we just tell them a Bible story and expect them to pay attention? And that was the trick with VeggieTales was how do we make... I, I referred to it as you got a guy on a schoolyard handing out apples and a guy on a schoolyard handing out Twinkies. You know, which guy is going to be more popular? Well, the guy with the Twinkies. But yeah, which guy yep. do they need more? They need the guy with the apples. So what do you do? And what I try to do with VeggieTales and, and pretty much with everything I've done is try to make an apple taste like a Twinkie. And, and that's... Oh, wow. That, that, yeah, yeah. Think on yeah. that for a while. <laughs> uh, try to take a lesson <laughs> about biblical truth and, and just make it fun. But it can't be just pure fun. You actually have to get down and get serious. You know, And that was the trick with Bob and Larry that at some point... Bob has to turn to kids and say, remember, kids, God made you special, yeah. and he loves you very much. And it has to mean something. So you can't be joking all the time. You have to find this fine line of you know, sincere and, and insincere and blend them together. And I'm glad, yeah, and I'm glad Bob did that because you certainly couldn't count on Larry to do that. Larry, no, he'd get halfway through it, and then he'd get <laughs> distracted by something shiny. <laughs> <laughs> He'd run off the set. <laughs> Bill Bisher joining us today here on The Meeting House on Faith Radio. And your organization, your group, is yeah. called Jellyfish Labs. Jellyfish Labs. Yeah, that's my new company. My first company was Big Idea Productions. My uh, new company is Jellyfish Labs. And and basically, I'm just developing ideas and then finding partners. Yeah, Because I, I realized I God really did not gift me to be a CEO of a giant company. You know, I'm, I'm not that guy. Um, I'm a creative guy. I'm a shy guy. I like to play with ideas kind of off on my own. And then I bring in partners to help me make them. So, you know, we started making What's in the Bible um, initially in partnership with Tyndale House Publishers and then uh, finished it actually on our own with some other partners. It is just fun to pull together partners, pull together animators, pull together whoever we need, you know, for the project. Um, and then everybody goes back and does something else. And then I think of something new. <laughs> <laughs> 